Circos was originally developed to visualize genomic data sets. This data, traditionally stored in complex tables, becomes more accessible when relationships are presented visually as ribbons. When numbers are converted to thick and thin lines, it is easier to see how different parts of the circle connect. This type of visualization facilitates both the exploration of data, and for those working in these specialized fields, it also communicates variations. While the images can be intimidating, once you are oriented to the layout of the data, it becomes more intuitive. As interesting and popular as this approach may be for those in the genomics field, what would it look like if it was adapted to education data? To explore this, assessment data was used from one assessment for a cohort of students. Each year, students from across Ontario participate in assessments that are developed and managed by the Education Quality and Accountability Office, EQAO. The following visualization uses cohort data for one group of students on the reading assessment. In this context, the circle represents the entire cohort of students who wrote the Grade 3 reading assessment in the 2007-2008 school year and then wrote the Grade 6 reading assessment in the 2010-2011 school year. These two assessments divide the circle in half, with the Grade 3 assessment on the left side and the Grade 6 assessment on the right side. Achievement for each assessment has been color-coded and extends from the top of the circle to the bottom, blue for level 4, green for level 3, orange for level 2, red for level 1, and black for achievement that is not at level 1. Connecting both sides of the circle are ribbons. Each ribbon connects the grade 3 assessment results with the grade 6 assessment result for a group of students. As you might expect, thicker ribbons represent more students than thinner ribbons. To facilitate comparison, each ribbon has been sorted clockwise from thickest to thinnest within each level of achievement. By using JavaScript, it is possible to add interactivity to the figure so that you're able to focus in on particular bands of students. With the interactive figure, we can take a look at the change in student achievement from the grade 3 to the grade 6 assessment. Looking at the left side of the circle, the thickest ribbon describes the grade 6 achievement for the largest group of students. Here we see that the largest group of students who achieved at level 4 had a drop in their achievement to level 3 on the grade 6 assessment. The largest group of students at level 3 remained at level 3 on the grade 6 assessment. At level 2, the largest group of students moved up to level 3. At level 1, the largest group of students moved up to level 2. And the largest group of students who were not at level 1 moved up to level 2. Looking at the right side of the circle, the thickest ribbon describes the previous achievement for the largest group of students. Here we see that the largest group of students who achieved at level 4 on the grade 6 assessment increased their achievement from level 3 on the grade 3 assessment. The largest group of students at level 3 came from level 3 on the grade 3 assessment, at level 2 came from level 2, at level 1 came from level 1, and although it is difficult to see which is the thickest, it is interesting that students who did not achieve at level 1 came from all the other achievement levels on the grade 3 assessment. 